Stacy and Shaw with Sit Stay with Stacy Slade. We are going to show a little bit about how to trim ears and feet today. We've got some uh, some a couple weeks growth on Shaw, so she decided to help us out and show how we trim uh, dogs that need to be trimmed. And especially right now, a lot of folks need uh, some help grooming their dogs as their groomers aren't available. So. Um, we're gonna do that. The equipment I'm using, I'll show along the way. You stay there. I know you're excited. I've got straight scissors. I'll show a little bit further. Thinner shears, thinning shears, toenail tripper, trimmers, and that's pretty much all I need. Oh, and for the ears, I use a greyhound comb. And that's it. So I'll show you and I'll tag uh, links to where you can get these items as well. All right, so we're gonna work a little bit close in so you can see how I work the, with the feet. And so we're gonna start with this left foot. And my the first thing I do whenever I start with the foot, well actually I'll start with the right, is I trim the toenails. Always make sure you get the dew claws. And I have a good idea where her quick is. Hazy might join us. And she has pretty long toenails so I can see her quick there's a white paw with the white quick you can see the dark quick goes to the end and i can i can actually with these nail clippers they're miller's forge they're easy they're sharp they're small for my hand i love them they're like eight bucks i can see where her quick is on these nails it's dark and i can just take the tip of it of the nail and then with these clippers i can kind of shave off a few uh, parts of the nail so it get it really clean um, Makes it super easy. I'll do it again on this spot. So a black nail is harder to see the quick if you go underneath you see a little hollow area Where it's not where it starts to uh, be more nail and not in the insert hollow area is where the quick is Lots of practice on doing this guys. I've been doing it my entire life So I have a pretty good feel for where the quick is if you do quick your dog have quick stop um, styptic powder available flour works cornstarch works and a lurch um, but it's good to have it around it's okay to quick a dog it's okay that they bleed a little bit uh, you don't want to hack off their nails because you don't want the bleeding profusely so these nail trimmers are very sharp I can shave off and make them pretty round so they don't scratch leather couches they don't scratch floors and it's almost like a Dremel effect Dremels work really well too if you have a Dremel don't forget the dew claw. Good girl, Shaw. Don't forget the dew claw because those can get curled up and be very uncomfortable. So I'm going to stick to the front two feet today. So I showed that tutorial. So nails are trimmed. So now I can get a good cut around the foot to where the where it should be to highlight the foot and not just the toenails. So the first thing I do, see all this Grinch hair underneath? I'm going to trim that off with straight scissors. These are about four, maybe five inch blades. And get in between each pad. And this is good for you to do. Anybody can do this because it gives them tra traction so they don't have hair coming up over the pads. So if they're on hardwood floors or linoleum, they get traction. So there we go. There's the bottom of the pad. Bottom of the foot has been trimmed. Okay, so still looks kind of hairy. The next step I do is I take my little straight, these are Joel, any type of small straight scissors with a little point works. I'm going to follow the line of the pad right here. So get this hair that's on the nail, follow this line of the pad. See a little piece of hair on the underneath I didn't get. So see how that nice abrupt cut I'm gonna do the same here. Down from the nail, under the pad. So there's a tuft of hair here I wanna get. So there's some hair underneath the nail. That's why these scissors are great. They've got a little point I can get underneath there. Good girl, Shaw. So then I come over the top, and I go a straight line over the top of the nails. I go on the line of the pad on this side, line of the pad on this side, cut off that tuft that's coming out there. Don't need that, it's extra hair. 
All right, so now you can see I've got kind of a line around her pad and I give her a break. She's wagging her tail. She's super happy doing this. She loves all the attention, but you can see it's rough cuts around there. So now I'm gonna make it look a little bit uh, nicer. So I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna follow the nail, follow the nail down here. Good girl, Shaw and just kind of neaten up my clips. See, I'm gonna come over the top of the nail like that and make that a little bit better of a cut. On this front stuff, I just take my scissors straight over the top of the nail, straight over the top of the nail. Okay. There you go, Shaw. Okay, so on this side of the nail, so watch what I do is I come over on the side, straight down the, the pad, right over the nail, straight down to the pad. So again, a little bit more definition, a little bit more fluidity. Then, so now it's still rough, but it's, it's a little bit better. It's not as much um, chunkiness to it. I'm gonna just straighten this out. So then I take a pin brush I'll put the link for this. So she has a little bit of Grinch that comes up and I, I pull that up. So then I take my thinners. So these are five and a half inch Kenshi thinners. Put your pot down, you goofy. So I make her stand up. So, so you can see the cat feet shape. So I'm gonna take my thinners straight up and down and just come around the pad and just give it a little bit of more definition. The thinners allow you not to see cut marks. And then I'm going to take this little Grinch and come up here, just the top of this. I'm not going very deep into the foot. And then I'll comb it again, make sure I got them all. I know, Sha, you're looking awesome. So I just shape it, and then we have a beautiful little cat foot. So. Yes, I've been doing this a long time, but you can do this with some practice, but at the very least you can do the cuts. And the thinners make everything look amazing. So to get the comparison of the two feet, you can see the Grinch. So I'm gonna do this one really quickly and show you again what I do. So again, quickly, get the bottom of the foot cut with straight scissors. Stop, you're a good girl, Shaw. You're doing awesome. Shaw is a pro at this. I'm gonna cut off the Grinch on top, just a, a rough cut, a little bit away from the nail. So sometimes to get more of the hair, you can push the toes out. But you're fine. A little sensitive to our feet. All right, so did that part. Now I'm gonna come and shape it around the nails, or excuse me, around the pads, coming down from the nail. Come up here, get a little bit of this stuff that's left in here, over the top of the foot, straight line over this top of those nails. Come up this pad, the line, follow the line of the pad to the nail. Good girl, Shaw. Follow the line of the pad to the nail. All right, so we're now we're shaped. I'm gonna take these scissors and cut off the little Grinch part right there. Gonna neaten this little tuft that's by the nail. That's why these scissors are so great. They have a nice little point. I can get in there and get the hair I need. I'm gonna shape it, come straight down from the nail. Good girl. It is a little warm out today. We got a panting dog, but she's doing awesome. So there we've got some definition. Now I'm going to get my thinners out, get, pull up her Grinches. I call them Grinchy feet. And my, my scissors are straight up and down. You can do this way, you can do this way. Cut off the top of the Grinches, just here, not too deep. If you get too deep, you start getting definition into a foot that you don't want. You want cat feet. So I found an extra little tuft there I can get out with my thinners. And voila, we have two beautiful cat feet on this shot here. So hopefully that helps you be able to do your feet. If you don't have thinners, it's okay. You can still do straight straight uh, scissors um, and do the best you can to, to uh, format kind of the round paw. But in a nutshell, that's how I trim my dog's feet. Um, thinners are important to me as are 
my little straight scissors. You can use any brush to pull up the hair, but happy grooming. Let me know if you have any questions, but uh, hopefully you can start to trim your dog's feet.